Yeah, you know, this is what we're talking about. T dot takeover as usual. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is. Uh, I don't know. Is definitely one of the top guys. <laughs> I mean, he fought for fucking like for years, busting his ass mixtapes. Yeah. Did one for the bitches. Did one for the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Gangsters singing. I mean, everything is on lock and key. Tory Lanez, what's up, man? What's going on, man? How's everybody doing? Welcome. What did Thank you what, what did you mutate into, man? Because you know <laughs> she's she's you know she's a cool white chick and she loved love, but now you be, you became like this ill like. Uh, 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 uh. Where, where did this come from? <laughs> gotta, is, it, is, is it from is the evolution of of, of the experiences of maneuvering through yeah, this hip hop shit? Yeah, I think honestly, what it is is just like my whole career, like I said, and I like I've um, stated before. Is that I've always kind of felt like I just had to, you know, prove people like mm. uh, different about me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I've just been on a mission of just trying to make sure that people understand where I'm at with the music and just making it something that people can always relate to and something that they can always feel and something that's also authentic to me without me having to, you know, succumb to any kind of sound or anything like that. You know? Uh, old friends, new foes. I just came in off of that. Yeah. What's the meaning behind that? I know you had a lot of haters uh, from Canada to, to America. Yeah, you I got think, rid of all your haters, or they, or you rather keep them close? I think just in, in life, you know, sometimes when you start off, you get to this point where, um, you know, old for, like when you get to a, to a place of success, you have old friends that can't understand their success, and they they're also not on the same platform as you, and so the things that you guys used to relate to, um, there's no, re, re, you know, uh, there's no relation there. So mm. it comes to a, a point where they kind of become like they they either. Either you guys have your own differences and they kind of drop off the, the the way, or they they learn what you learn mm. and they kind of get in and evolve their mind of thinking how you do, you know. Um, and I think that a lot of the times with me is like old friends have fallen off, and then there's new people who will try to come out come around when they know an old friend mm. is, has you know fallen off to try to take the place. Mm. And I've realized, you know, when new friends come around, they just, it, it's very dangerous because then it's like trusting a brand new person. Um, you know, once you once you actually befriend somebody, you know, you, they're your friend until, you know, regardless proof. of what's going yeah. on. Yeah, and, and it's like for me, like that's dangerous to me because mm. just making anybody and any a, any and everybody my friend is like, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so uh, I see uh, Drake posted your album, uh-huh. man, and that's a good yeah. look for you know for hip hop period, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to him and and thank him, like you know what I'm saying. For um for doing that like I don't know I know you ain't had to do that shit and I I definitely texted him I was just like yo thank you man appreciate it you know what I'm saying and I I appreciate shit like that like you know what I'm saying like anytime someone goes out or, or or just like does something that's like not you know they weren't like scheduled to do it they didn't mm-hmm. have to do right. it like exactly. anytime someone does that like I appreciate it you know so that was big Fifty Cent man you know I gotta bring this up this is my boss right there uh <laughs> you've always been a fan of Fifty Cent yeah of course especially when you the mixtape fucking you're like a mixtape king of your own yeah. and I'm sure you looked up to him how did that come about like you know wh- wh- where did this happen like what the fuck <laughs> um, honestly it happened like I had met him um, through one of my friends um, who was I guess talking to Renee at the time oh okay and and they had set up like a little meeting or whatever and I remember the first time we talked we was talking for like mad long just like mm. just three hours we was just talking we was only supposed to talk for like 30 minutes they be gangster <laughs> like I used to cut bricks and then the it coke was, every, was, it was crazy was, and then yeah, I shot niggas nigga nigga who is <laughs> nah but you know <laughs> You know what I'm saying, nigga? Nah, but like, nah, he, he, yeah, he's, yeah. it's more wisdom and stuff. Like, stuff yeah, that of he course. Teaches yeah. Me. And then we both also like a very like interesting. Cause I'm sure because you know him firsthand. So, like, we're both very interested in, in film. Like, I love cinema. Mm. I love yeah. directing. I love film. I love making movies. I love writing screenplays. I love all that wow. stuff. Like, when it comes to film, like, I have. Who am I camera. gonna see with power? Who? <laughs> yeah. But what's funny though is like, what? is like we're gonna um we're gonna do the uh the uh what's it called the movie for the album and Fifty Cent's gonna jump in it. So oh yeah. wow. so it's gonna be very serious. Like it's, it's not like it's right not like no documentary or mm-hmm. like no music video movie or nothing like that. It's like a forty to fifty minute you know presentation. Hey, this is DJ Who Kid. This show is sponsored by Better Help. A lot of us spend our lives feeling like there are never enough hours in a day. For me, between constantly working 
and traveling, I often struggle to squeeze important things into my busy schedule, like going to the gym, relaxing, and spending time with my loved ones. I've had to learn what is truly important and what I need to prioritize in my schedule. And therapy can help you find what truly matters to you, just like I did. Therapy can be a helpful tool to learn positive coping skills, learn how to set healthy boundaries, and empower you to be the best version of yourself. And if you want to give therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great way to get started. It is entirely online, which makes it convenient, flexible, and can be suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash who today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash who. You want me to say it again? That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash who. Give online therapy a try and get on your way to be your best self. Producers, man. Let's uh, let's see who's on here. A Rab, one of my favorite homies. Yeah, man. A Rab did the last record on yeah. there. Um played Picasso, of course. Not Nav. Um Nav didn't produce on it, but Nav did do his verse on um Okay. On Dance Dance uh Dance for Me. Who did most of the album or is, is a whole bunch of different producers? Um, most of the album was done by Play Picasso. Okay, bam. Um, of course, Benny is like, Benny Blanco is like one of the dudes who, at the end of the day, he helps to coach me along, um, as far as just like, just my overall, like, project and plan, you know what I'm saying? Um, but with this album, it was more so like, uh, playing, like, when it comes down to the overall who looks over everything, it's me. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm super, like, into the production as far as everything. I just specifically, even things that I actually did do myself as far as production, I didn't credit myself for this album. I just gave yeah, it. A lot of people don't know that you're very hands-on. Like Very hands-on. Everything I do, I have to have a hand in it. Uh, were you in the studio with Future, or you sent it out? Um, no, nah, we was actually on tour together. We okay. Was on the, um, and I remember he was just recording his bus every night, and I was recording at my bus, and I remember just bringing over a batch of records. And he just did it and just gave me... He doesn't write anything down, right? Everything is like is in his head. Like It's kind of like how I do it. Like, you just go in the studio and just go in the booth and just kind of freestyle. But I never actually saw him um, recording. I just seen him in the studio of his bus. And then when I gave him... Like, that's where I played him the records. Mm-hmm. And then when I gave him the records, he just kind of... Um, he was like, all right, I'm going to get these done. And, and then that's it. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? There was nothing weird going on, like candles and like, like humidity. Like smoke machines and stuff like that. That's nah. what I heard. I heard. <laughs> I'll right, make sure, man. No. You know, you don't have to prove yourself anymore. You murdered Flex. You murdered like countless. I know people put you on, you know, on the spot and you got to <laughs> You don't have to. You're ill, B. You don't nah, have to. Thank you. I appreciate You don't that. have to, like, yo, you be killing us with these shits, man. Nah, thank you. Damn, man. you be doing nine minutes. Nah, I just be feeling like sometimes, like, people be trying to play me, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I felt like. But you don't have to prove it anymore. Like, nah, you know, it's, it's just, a rap. It's, like, just competi- it's here, competitive man. spirit. That's all. <laughs> that's you've all always had that. Com- you, you've always had that. Like, yo, you can't really like test me like that. You have to like. You always got to prove shit. When it comes shit. to music, yeah, yeah, like my craft, yeah, you know, not in like life. I don't got to prove shit all the time in life. Yeah. It's whatever it is. I don't even have to prove anything to anybody. Actually. But but do you see how a lot of like the original fans, like you know, like I've listened to you for years, but you kind of like shocked me when I first started seeing. You see that though, like mm-hmm. people are like, oh shit. This motherfucker got bars. Like, nah, what the fuck true, going true, on? True, where, true. You know? well, I feel like a lot of people got exposed to me around the time that I was, like, doing Say It In Love and, like, records yeah. like that. And so I felt right. like, you know, it was just one of those situations where some people were just like, he's the guy who sings Say It In Love. And it just ended up being that. But in all reality, I'm the guy who I rap, too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I've always, right. I was rapping before I was even singing. Like, Man. So it's like, you know, whatever. Before you get out of here, man, who busted each other ass? I heard this extended video, you and Takashi, man, like at that basketball game. Right? He told me he busted your ass, man. Nah, you want to put that listen, out there? <laughs> first of all, pause. I'm second of it. all, <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, yeah. second of all, um, we was in LA at the time. And like I said in the video, I told him, I said, look, I took it easy on him. He was in LA. He had a lot of pressure going on. And yeah. I said, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna let you win this game. All right? I was playing like garbage the whole game. I was shooting shots yeah. like this. You know what I'm saying? But he won. I give him that. Yeah, but <laughs> if you wanna link the extended video? He got let me know. <laughs> me and him both got the ugliest forms in the whole rap oh, game. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Word. Remix. You want to leak what remix is next, or should I talk to your management? I know you got a remix of uh, coming out soon of one of your records. Is that I heard a nice rumor. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what'd you hear? Another big artist, too. I mean, <laughs> uh, where's the management at? Get that, that white boy over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard there's a good remix coming out, man. Yeah, no way, man. We out of here. See ya, peace. Nah, we gonna keep those. All right, we'll leave it at that. Wow, <laughs> he's the only one who didn't we'll get caught. <laughs> Almost got him, man. I, we were so close. All right, but we'll put it out there, though. You know what I'm saying? That was a good one, though. I'm not gonna lie. It very, very good. good. Smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Yo, um, smoking on pipes. Preferably black. Leprechaun, all of these hoes they on my arm. All of these bitches they know I'm with the dawn. Stoning on bitches, come back to the sixes. I spit threes like I'm playing with the sixes. Bad bitch like she playing with the mixes. Bad bitches keep playing with my jigs. Bad bitch wanna get on my insta. Told a bitch chick tryna keep quiet. I got bad bitches tryna get by. Don't chill for a nigga get violent. I got bad bitches and they come wild. Ayy, I see them in the fuck smiling. Twenty thousand damn bitches on the island. Twenty thousand damn bitches going private. Mm, she make it clap, I got the strap, 20 moon gats, feel like I'm savage, 20 moon bitches and none of them average, I'm gon' fuck me tonight, me a bad bitch, I don't give a fuck about niggas, I don't give a fuck about hoes, I don't give a fuck about your bros, I don't give a fuck about your toes, your hoes, your manicure, pedicure toes, I'm